I'm uh, looking through drawings. I have a bunch. Um, and I'm putting them on the wall. So it's not only a dirty wall to look at. This here is one of my favorite uh, favorite uh, graphite portraits I've done. He looks very stupid. Um, <laughs> like he's, he doesn't have a he doesn't have anything on his mind. Uh, but the funny thing is that he is an. I saw him. I post a video during a documentary on the impressionists, uh, and he, this guy, was an expert on the on the documentary, uh, and he was talking about all the things he knew that no one else did. Um, and then I post the video, and then I drew him. Only took, I don't know, twenty minutes, fifty. 30 minutes, I'm not sure, but he looks so stupid. Um, it's very funny. So, and I've tried, I've done it a few times. Uh, here's a few more. I've, uh, and I've been wanting to get back into these small portraits for a while, but I haven't found um, the courage. Here's another stupid one. Looks very stupid. These two drawings are brothers from a YouTube video video that I saw when I was a kid. Uh, and this is Ted from the series Scrubs that I did this summer. I think that this is a good uh, way of coming back to it. I think he looks a little bit stupid, so not stupid enough. I could. I would have been happy with more stupid, so need to practice drawing stupid things or drawing people that look stupid or make people make smart people look stupid. These drawings or this drawing I did during my second year of art school at Pernby Smaller School, grade school. Um, Probably the the year in which I learned the most about art or about my art. Uh, I progressed progressed a lot. Barely painted before that, and or I I wasn't able to paint uh, with confidence. And after that, still not with confidence, but I I figured stuff out. And this drawing. Uh, I made in a sketchbook. There, the focus. Uh, just a quick drawing with charcoal in a sketchbook. And it has a, I mean, it's, you can discuss with everyone if it's, if it's a good drawing, but I think it's a good drawing because um, there's no, um, there's no decision making, thoughtful decision making. It's only visual decision making. Um, when I looked at the paper, I made a line. Then in relation to the first line, um, I kept on going and I decided only to make what it looks like only diagonal lines, uh, one way or the other. and. Uh, uh, and then I decided to stop eventually after a few lines. Um, and from the start to the end of this drawing, I did a good job of deciding where to put the lines and when to stop putting the lines down, which 
concludes to a good drawing in my eyes. Uh, um, something visually that I've I've done a lot of times. I've done a lot of good drawings, and this is a, an example of a drawing in which I don't think I only look because mostly my drawings are only about the visual aspect of it. It's a visual thing. It's not a story. I mean, there's no story to this. Uh, as Werner Herzog, the film director, says, um, not sure about if there's a quote, but he he searches for adequate images. Um, that's his purpose. What it sounds like, at least. Uh, he searches for adequate images. Uh, and I think somewhat I'm doing the same thing sometimes. And this, in my eyes, uh, focus, there we go. This, for me, is an adequate image, picture, drawing. Um, and sometimes if I were now to take out the sketchbook, same kind of paper, a charcoal piece of charcoal and do this again I don't I don't think it would be, a, be as good because I would think about this drawing um, and then try to replicate it with my thoughts and then I mean if I wanted to replicate it I would print it scan it then print it uh, but I could not draw it again I could, but it would it would lose the quality of it. And I think a lot of art around the world, where this this began to become a long ramble about my thoughts, but that's good, good to document these things. Um, thoughts don't always come verbally for me, so this is good. Um, around the world, people paint, draw, make art in their own way, in different ways, but some people, me included, a lot of people do, probably everyone when they start out, and then for a good while, probably once in a while, all through their lives, they will see something or hear about something and they will try to, in some way, replicate it. And you, when you see the picture or the thing they've done, you could sense that it's not um, true. Uh, true as in original, but I don't feel like the original, it, or, the word original has um, same kind of weight as truth just because if you do something I think all people who, who are creative when once because I think it happens once at least or a few times for people who uh, find something they really like doing because it feels like it's true to them uh, um, and it could be just one, like a one-off drawing. I mean, this is not the big truth, but it's a good example of a picture where my capabilities of looking and not thinking worked out good. But um, yeah, so there's a difference between seeing something that you like that someone else did or some like an example of th something that you feel strongly about and then doing the same thing you take something in and then do the same thing um, or you could take something in process it and then maybe per um uh, 
what's the word? Um, I can't find the word. Um, put it on the screen. Purposefully, there's the word. Uh, you could take something in. This is the good way of doing it. You can take something in. That's, it could be apples, could be poop, could be uh, the wind, could be a person you met, an image you saw, video you made or saw or something, dust on the floor. You can take it in purposefully or uh, um, without knowing, process it and then purposefully or without knowing uh, making something out of it and that's the truth that's the good tru truth uh, same thing if, if I were to try to draw this again it would not be truth because the truth is already here uh, this is the truth. You cannot replicate it. Uh, depending on if the truth is bigger than this drawing, um, or if the truth um, concludes of more drawings like this. Make, make sense? I think so. Um, um, maybe. The best truths, and and you can see that with artists, for example, Marth, Roth, Marth Rothko or Willem de Kooning, um, Agnes Martin, Jackson Pollock. If you look through the history of the, their paintings from when they were students or starting out until somewhere along their career, they found their way of painting and they stayed with it um, and for some of them it feel like, feels like it's both they found their truth they found their thing um, and then they kept doing it because it felt felt good to them it felt like a good thing um, and it also they they got probably sold a lot of stuff and became rich and all that but and that in some ways when money finds or if the money takes control they have to keep doing the thing the truth that once was and then eventually the truth runs out the truth will run out or usually the truth runs out there's no more pictures to do. You can't do more because you changed or that's that was the whole truth. Um, but sometimes it lasts for a while. But in these cases, when for Jackson, Jackson Pollock, for example, I think he wanted to, or I'm just imagining or I, what he might have felt like, but he had to keep doing the paintings because people were paying for them and that kept him um, from getting another job or something. So he kept doing them um, and stopped experimenting because be before the drip paintings, he was experimenting a lot. Um, and I believe that he, he kept on, he could have kept on experimenting, but he kept doing the, uh, Drip paintings for a while until he until he died. Um, but a good example for someone who who didn't stop is Philip Gost Guston, and he he changed many times, and he's gotten praise for it, even though it's, it was difficult for him because he had it going. He was friends with the expressionists. Um, but then he did his uh, 
like the hooded figure strong paintings and people thought he was crazy but that's what he is most known for today yeah so there's many truths i think i've gone through a few of them they are empty now and i'm looking for a new one I'm trying to find a new one right now so it's a good thing for me to talk about it and film it for the future and i feel like it's good for the world to hear someone else talk about it too because i think there's other who goes through the same thing good long ramble this is um but and i mean i usually yeah this is the first time i caught myself filming a simple thing putting these up while i'm making another video is it's not even even about this um but um i feel like i when i think about what i should do artistically should you should never do anything there's no should only what you should only follow the truths the adequate images you like if you, if you like um, you should only follow that the truth things you feel strongly about but then then you can me at least i i get confused sometimes the camera is heating up this might be the last thing i say i get confused sometimes when looking back at the stuff i've done and especially if there's thing i've done that people talk strongly about um that i've stopped doing but it's uh, it gets a lot of likes on instagram people talk about it with me like that was good that was a good thing uh, looked really nice blah 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 um, and right now when i don't know what to do uh, i 